before it's too late. Hi, I'm Robert Osborne. Edmund O'Brien is the star we've been saluting since 6 a.m. this morning. O'Brien, one of those actors who was always remarkably good in every role he played, but not always appreciated as much as he should have been. But to his credit, he never seemed to stop working, and he might turn up thin or overweight in a movie, or working with Marlon Brando or Tommy Sands, or co-starring in a Western classic like The Man Who Shot Liberty Balance, or a little throwaway Western like Cow Country. But no matter. Edmund O'Brien was always good. One area in which he particularly excelled, though, was film noir. His first encounter with that genre was the original 1946 version of The Killers with Burt Lancaster and Ava Gardner. Then came such noir movies as The Web, Man in the Dark, and 7-Eleven Ocean Drive. But probably his best, and the one that made the biggest impact, is our next film, D.O.A., released in 1950. Those initials, of course, standing for Dead on Arrival very accurate title for this unusual story, which is about a California accountant who learns that he's been poisoned and has just hours to live. And at what time he has left, he tries to track down the man or woman who's murdered him. It's based on a 1931 German film literally titled The Man Who Seeks His Murderer. Now, Russell Rouse and Clarence Green are the ones who wrote the screenplay of the movie, and the direction is by Rudolf Maté who was always more celebrated, actually, as a cinematographer than as a director. Some of the movies Maté photographed being Gilda, Dodsworth, That Hamilton Woman, and To Be or Not To Be. This next movie, directed by Maté, is one of those films that grabs you right from the start and never lets go. It was no big deal and basically ignored when it first came out, but now it's a prime favorite with movie fans, especially film noir buffs. Since this Hollywood version was made in 1950, the storyline's been borrowed again several times for later films, including a 1969 version called Color Me Dead with Tom Tryon and Carolyn Jones, and a 1988 remake also called DOA, which starred Dennis Quaid and Meg Ryan. But our film is the best of the lot. Here it is, with Edmund O'Brien on the cast that includes Pamela Britton, Luther Adler, Neville Brand, and Beverly Carden, with a music score by Dmitry Tiomkin from 1950, DOA.